uh, to talk about the uh, stock market, which opens at 8.30 this morning. So we've got a couple of hours, Ed Butowski, right. to uh, kind of uh, take a deep breath. Um, and, and, and a lot of what happened the other day was, was triggered early on. There was a big drop in China. That's and there's right. this automated trading that just kind of takes over, kind of yeah. like sometimes the computers take over around here. <laughs> That's right. What, what happens is in the futures market, there's this other thing called the futures, which trades where the future value is going to be. Right. Then you have the cash price, and that then goes down with it. Like this morning, for instance, we have the futures showing a much larger, higher opening for the United States. We have a pretty good idea already just because of the overnight trading, the global trading that goes on. That's right. What's going to happen at that? At, and, and, when it opens at 8.30, it's usually pretty close to what we've seen in the, in the futures. Yeah, and that's, that's what occurs all the time. Yeah. So at some point in time, when futures contracts get way ahead, either going higher or lower, computers take over and you see sell programs kick in. That's not always the right. way the market works, but during crises like this, yeah. that's what starts to happen. Can we blame the whole thing on China? China, for years, right. we have known that you look at the Chinese market and you know that what they're telling us is a lie. Yeah. They say, you know, we're growing at 10% a year. They're really not. Right. They say our, our currency, the yuan, is worth this much. It's not. The, the whole f their whole economy is, is kind of a lie. I went over there. But it's a big economy. Yeah, I mean, I went there, and I'll tell you, there are some places that look wonderful, and then you go take the train from Beijing to Shanghai, and you see these ghost cities, and you see people literally in fields picking things, and you wonder, this economy is not growing. Now, it might get there one day. Right. But the key to everybody is that we export a lot of our goods, all right? 44% of the growth in our S&P 500 companies come from outside the U.S. So when people hear about China and they hear about Europe, it really matters to them because we only represent 5% of the world's population. Most of the growth in our companies are going to come from outside the U.S. But China doesn't buy, other than raw materials, doesn't buy a lot of, we buy a lot of stuff from right. China. I we know. borrow a lot of money from China. Yeah. They don't buy a lot of stuff from us. They really don't. And, and, and I'm living proof of it because when I went there, I couldn't find anything that I recognized to eat. All I ate there was French fries. Right. Okay. Because I'm really picky about what I eat. I look for anything American, could find nothing that I could eat over there. And, and then you look at products and goods and services. I just couldn't find anything from the United States in China. Um, it, do, does China worry you, or do we just kind of factor that out of the U.S. economy? Is right. the U.S. Great economy in, in fundamentally good shape right now? Yeah. We're, we're adding 220,000 jobs every month. Right. That's not bad? Well, you say it's not bad, but in all fairness, it's better than, you know, than, than adding none. But we need 500,000 net new jobs a month full-time jobs right. to generate enough tax revenue to pay our bills. We're only about 50% of the way where we should be. Is the U.S. economy good? No. Does it have to double? It does. And we have to do it in a hurry because we continue to generate more and more bills. So what worries me? Everything worries me. Right. There's not a day that goes by where I look and think, wow, things are in good shape. And because of that, um, that's why people like me, you know, come, you know, sometimes on shows like this to try to let people understand what it is they have to be concerned about. And growth is the number one concern. In about 10 seconds, what do I do with my 401k? Just leave it the way it is because there's no other place to go. Right. All right. <laughs> what are you going to do? Invest in yeah. China? Probably not. All right. <laughs> Let's go to Evan right now.